Mario Kart Wii on the Nvidia Shield was a planned port of Mario Kart Wii so that China could finally get their hands on the game. You see, China has a very strict government and Mario Kart Wii never had a chance to release there along with the rest of the world. So in 2018, Nintendo planned to release a special made Mario Kart Wii Chinese translated version with a full online mode. But what exactly happened to it? I mean, it never really released, right? It kind of just got announced and we never heard anything from it ever since. So in today's episode of Mario Kart Wii Unsolved, we'll be taking a deep dive into the story of the forgotten Mario Kart Wii on the Nvidia Shield. Last time I did a Mario Kart Wii Unsolved video, I said if it would hit 30 likes, I would do it again. And it did in one hour. So let's see if we can top it. If this video hits 45 likes, then I'll for sure continue this Mario Kart Wii Unsolved series. Also, if you're new around here, subscribe for more Mario Kart Wii content like this. In 2014, Nintendo WFC was shutting down. Eventually, we would get a replacement via a fan service called WiiMFi, but the original Nintendo hosted servers were officially done. So it came with a deep shock to the Mario Kart Wii community that Mario Kart Wii was being re-released on the Nvidia Shield in China with a completely full operational online mode. Of course, this wasn't the only thing the port had. It also had upscaled graphics, meaning that the game probably looked like it was running on Dolphin and likely fixed some bugs that were present in the original Mario Kart Wii release. This wasn't the first time Nintendo did this though. Before Mario Kart Wii, we had Super Mario Galaxy ported to the Nvidia Shield as well. That game, however, was fully released. So what happened? Mario Kart Wii. It's been nearly four years since the announcement and we still haven't gotten any news regarding the port. Well, Nvidia Shield Mario Kart Wii had an unfortunate fate. It didn't have to end up like this, but unfortunately it did. As I said before, China has a really strict government compared to other parts of the world. So unfortunately, even though the game was completed and ready to release, it got trapped inside of government limbo. There was no way of telling when it would get out of the government limbo and ready to be released to the public. It continued to sit there for four years practically not moving forward. Eventually though, if it would be giving enough time, and who knows how long that time would be, the game would probably have been released under the video shield. But unfortunately, again, we had more unfortunate time problems. Even in 2021, the game didn't get out of the government limbo. It continued to sit there waiting, and finally Nintendo made the final decision. In August of this year, Nintendo would officially be taking down downloads for Nintendo games on the Nvidia Shield. This means that the likelihood of Mario Kart Wii ever being re-released in China has just dropped 10 times than it was before. The chances of it getting released are now as slim as me getting a real job and moving out. So this begs the question, will we ever see Mario Kart Wii get released by Nintendo ever again? Will we see the game ever be released on the Switch with full online? Let's talk in the comments below and check out this video about the first ever released custom track for Mario Kart Wii.